Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, this is Ripened Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love. In the last episode we made it to the Lost Track, so it was very much not our intention to do so, and in this episode, I guess we're gonna carry on looking around. There used to be coffee here. Looks like it hasn't been used for a while, seems like only empty cups live here. Now what about you? You're flapping in the breeze conspicuously to such an extent that I barely noticed you in the last episode, or I did, and then sort of put off interacting with you because I didn't think you'd be that important. The dusty paper scrap has something scribbled on it! Re Yes! Clearly it's important! Why would you ask me for co- I mean, I can't criticize because I'm like that in real life as well. Like, you could give me the most obvious task implicitly and I will still ask if that's actually what you want me to do because I don't want to jump to conclusions. To the staff! From now on, we are in Tunnel 2. You switch station 4 to get- Yes, that's- that's what- that was our objective. To return, you switch station 0. The foreman has the key to the station. Lovely. And what's over here? There are beds covered with dust. There's nothing of interest. No one has been a sleepy pee pee lately. Also, there is a cobbed web. Not a cobweb, it's legally distinct. It is a booted leg, it is a cobbed web. This board keeps track of the workers' whereabouts. It shows that they're all at the same place now. Lovely. Only a little bit, um... Dystopian? To keep track of where everyone is at all times, but then again, I guess it's a necessary thing. Anyway. I, I got started when the words came on suddenly. Oh, but they're so pretty. I, I don't know about that. Did you find the number zero key? No. No work? Oh, please move on and keep working. Well, now that this has been activated, well, it, it appears to be a little bit zap -tacular. Do we still have the gloves from way back when? We do! Good. I mean, I don't actually know for certain, but just, it looks very zappy and that's not a risk I want to take, so, uh... As established in the last episode, which was uh, two weeks ago from my point of view, we got over here, we need to switch the flip the switch the floor. We need to flip switch number four! Jesus Christ, I'm out of practice. Because we need to make more of a mess in order to unmake the mess, because we need the zero key to flip the zero switch and get out of here, which we've only just started on this Gordian Oh, Okay, now we can move on. I hope we'll find that person. Chapter 3, The Forgotten Project. And to remind you, if you want to use your balloon to sort of tag out of this page and do stuff elsewhere, which would largely just be going back to the dungeon to grind up rupees, this is a good point to do that, because remember, when you leave the page, when you come back to the page, you're dropped off at the last chapter break, and obviously this is that checkpoint. But I'm not going to do that, because we're sort of in the midst of a funky flow. Which seems like a ridiculous thing for me to say, because as I said, it has been two weeks, because uh, two weeks ago my mother came to visit and I sort of, obviously I had to set aside time to entertain my guest, and I spent all of last week a combination of being at work and also recovering from that, and also recovering from a cold that I got out of nowhere, and I resent the fact that I had a cold because it was not, it, it did not arrive with my permission. Anyway, we're chungling the Krongus over to the this way, why does the track do that? It doesn't need to do that. I guess so we can pass something. Oh, now we have letters! You know what? No, you know, no. I'm not going to be salty about that. We... It, it makes things less confusing. So hang on a minute. So if we... Okay. So on the upstairs map on the top screen, if we were to go down to... Wait. If I'm understanding the map correctly, if we do this, we can stop here and flip switch A. It's harder to say than you think, but we don't want to do that right now because if we did, that would just send us back out the way we came in and we're we're here for the time being. There's also Shumpy B, which leads to Shumpy D. So at the moment, there's nothing of value for us here, which means that, uh, oh, this is a proper area. Huzzah, hayuk, hajimble. Yay, we found the tunnel. Hey, Tingle, you're just like the office before. This tunnel doesn't seem to be a use, does it? But did you hear that ooh sound? Hi back there. That must have been somebody talking. Well, yeah, but this place works. D sir? D ah! Welcome, good to see you. To the main office, send you. As assistant, finally. I don't like this voice, and I am rolling with it. Oh, well. Did you just know? Let's have a careful walk. But also this is 
jiggling, by which I mean glittering. There is something on the box, on the box, in the table. There is a cockroach on the table, which clearly means you need to dive under the water at the lowest point of the level and go into the mirror version of the level where everything's blue. Ultra Train B. This is B. 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 This is B. That's your left. Somehow you hear love yours. Okay. A Mr. Tingle. <laughs> Somewhere. There are presents unknown to me. <laughs> there are some wonderful things out there for sure. And women for whom they are a perfect match too. <laughs> so yeah, in case you're wondering, that's, that's a gift that falls under the special tab. I wonder who it should go to. And anyway, information about the tunnel's construction. And we get no further information there. Papers and boxes and bopses and papers and such like. It's become unreadable. Become ungovernable or perhaps unreadable. So if I go this way, well, I don't want to get back on the tracks. I want to switch Flippy the hit, switch the flip, switch the beat kicks and I start rocking. Please have a walk inside the tunnels. Huh? What? Mood. We are looking for the fallen. As on the ball as ever, Buriki, we love that for you. So, what's going on in here? Oh, hi. You appear to be uh, doing well for yourself. Huh? Are you the person from before? Hey, are you all right? Ah! <laughs> He's dead! Well, clearly not. He was just alive a second ago. He's just talking to us. Abnormal body temperature detected. Well, he's in a tunnel! Of course the air's gonna be all, like, humid and muggy and weird and close. Because some sometimes that's how people describe such conditions. So, uh, can I poke him with a stick? Hi. No response. Just a lifeless body. <laughs> oh. Uh. I'm sorry. I'm at the limit of my strength. I must be unconscious for some time. Please come see the foreman. Ah! So you were white? But are you really pale or no? Might be good to get a widow sunlight? No, sunlight is not good. Please me the phone. Smash Rocks not hopes that was a very short chapter. Realistically, you could speedrun that chapter in like a minute because it's just get on the train, go round the bend, come in here, and this. Why is that a chapter? You know what, we don't ask questions. Can I flip the switch, hitty switch, flip the hip, switch the flip switchy, please? No! No, without the normal permission. Okay, damn. So we're having a time in here. No, people in headwaters. We're the guys thing, no one will come. Well, we did. Hey, headquarters? No, I'm fine. Are uh, you the foreman? You're very diagonal down here, by the way. <laughs> well, lucky for us, we are the hell. Hi, how's it going? Just <laughs> a little more. I can do it. If you say so. Oh, I was trying to talk to you. So we have seen things that are yet to be. I go how you in daytime. My body hurts like it's getting burned. That's why it's day in the tunnel all the time. So get some sun cream, my guy. The best I have to offer is corn oil, which will just make you burst up dark and lovely. Good and plenty. Bed, bath, and beyond! I want to get out of the mountains and hug my wife. How strange. I can't remember her face. You're reminding me of Gubby Goo. He is best boy and I am so normal about him. Although that was his mother rather than his wife. But the point remains. 
I completely lost my sense of time. I guess that's only normal when you work so hard. Which begs the question, what voice am I gonna give you? A loat. <coughs> oh, oh, you. You're not staffed at headquarters. We were trying to get back on the yellow railroad. I see. You want to get back on the main line. You all need to use the number zero switch point. I have the number zero key for that. However, I need you to do something for me first. Sure. Your favor, poor favor. Now you travel the tracks and collect dynamite. You know, dynamite, but said it exotically. Collect 50 sticks, that should do it. We can't finish this one by physical strength alone. Will you help us? What choice do we have, sir? Oh, thank you. Uh, sorry to make you do this. There should be 50 sticks of dynamite in this area. Use switch point C to advance. Oh, that's right. I just remember. There are levers all over this area. They're the uh, rock operators. What do you mean by that? Throw a rock into the hole to activate the switch. Yeah, at this point I'm feeling justified in making you all moany and drunk and sort of slurry speechy, because only a drunk person would come up with a system like that! Gary and Marl, they'll need a freight car. Let's go operators on me to learn more about that. Thank you for helping us. <coughs> Can we talk to you about the other things? Because I... Okay. Tunnel construction! The job is to tunnel through this mountain. We need to stay safe for any cost. Number zero key? Number zero key is necessary for switch point number zero. Using that switch is possible to return to the main line and get to the city. That is your wish, yeah? Yes, it is. I feel like there's some level of health and safety violation that we can't just leave, but whatever. Anyway, you must be Zonmi. Yes, what is it? Oh my! As established in the last episode, this one is a woman! And that means that we can't interact with her like a normal human person. And as I warned several of my friends beforehand, and as I foreshadowed with the statue, BEING ALIVE IS NOT A PREREQUISITE FOR BEING IN THE GIRL DIARY! That's rude of me, she's just pale. But still, with a name like Zomni, you can't help but jump to some unfavorable conclusions. So let's love push, how bad can it be? Well, I have a good authority that you like food, and uh cool food at that, so... Uh... Not gorgeous food, though. Not a fan of that. Uh... Yeah, you're neutral on, on mature stuff, so... A rare, cool food? Well, you're already fairly cool anyway, like, to the touch, so have, have some ice cube with sugar. I like what your hair does. Ha! <sighs> is that for me? It's so new and shiny. No, ice is just like that. But I'll take the credit for it. That is a very troublesome sprite. Troubling, rather. Crunchy Bar. I recently learned that knickknacks were originally called Crunchy Watsits, and I feel like Americans would have a field day with that knowledge. Although, if I give no further context, then that's not really gonna... They're like crisps, but I think you can't legally call them crisps. They're like corn snacks or whatever. You like cool style. We, however, appear to not. How about a cool tool? No, that's what we're gonna miss there. A cool hobby. Aha! But not gorgeous. And not mature. So... Eh? Knuckles' skull, as featured in Sonic 3 and Knuckles when he's trying to get the Master Emerald Bracket, and he gets zibbity-zabbed with electricalness. Can you tell it's been two weeks since last I recorded? A skull, my dear! 
Well, okay, it's a piggy bank, but still. How could that- well, I, I guess if it's porcelain, it could be new and sh I guess. Have a sword and a ball. What's the worst that could happen? Yes, we'll get those last few pixels and be on our merry little way. Yes, uh, I have nothing to add to this conversation whatsoever. That sounds like it's a reference, it's not intended to be one. So... I do like how the portraits change as they warm up to Tingle, at least. So, uh... Hello. You're really kind. I'm so happy my knees are wobbly. Okay, well can you put those wobbly knees to work? Not like that! We just need a freight car. He'll get the dynamity for us, right? I felt it. I could detonate so much. You're the right person. Yes, we are l'homme de la situation, because that song has definitely been relevant for ten years. Home coupling freight car. Oh, I see. I'm going to the phone booth at point. <laughs> Contact me from there. I will attach it to your vehicle. Uh, okay. Well, we now have legal permission to switch flippy switch hit the switch flip of the seas. Yeah, we have permission. You can't stop me, diagonal face. And there we go. We have changed C and now we can go on a way. Why is there a track that just leads off into the void? I have no memory of this. That's one thing that I'm genuinely enjoying about this series, by the way, because I've probably already articulated, I have only played this game once in my life apart from in this series, so I remember major story beats, but not little minor things. So, I don't know, I, 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 I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying discovering this game all over again and making slightly more lasting memories. So here we are at point... But just for the sake of testing, just gonna do a little loop of people. This does not go the way I was expecting. No, I need to leave B where it is for now because I need to take a journey and go all the way around again. Let this show you, this chapter punishes curiosity, but like, in a good way, because that just means that you never have to worry about not flipping a switch and then worrying that you've been tricked by it. Just flip every switch you see as you hit upon them. Let's use the phone. Don't tell me it requires exact change. Yes, this is on me, the operator. Ginny something. Uh, swear? I'm sorry. Using switch point H is not allowed. But, but you just said! It's work in progress. So. Right now, no one can pass through. But don't worry. There's no thing that's you know. So you can ignore switch point H for now. Excuse you. Don't hang up. I'm, this conversation isn't over. Stop being offended that I've asked you for things out of order. Okay, give me the gosh darn freight car. I launched the freight car. Yes, please. That's why I called you. Roger, no. No, this is Tingle. Call me any time. I will always tell you life is beautiful and fine. Say no, no, no. Lovely. So now we can switch flitch hits the switch flippy of B and go on a magical journey, perhaps. I think this will take us somewhere new. It'll certainly take us in a different. So by if if it's taking us somewhere that is a different, then by default it's taking us somewhere new. Now, if I flip switch A, that'll just take us out of the area. I think what it'll do is put the straight track on top. So we it'll still turn us in the right direction, it's just if we approach A from the opposite direction, then it'll... You know what, Let, let's just visualise it, how about that? Oh! Okay, that did not do what I was expecting it to. Good thing I checked! Alright, so we'll need to come back this way if we want to go to the previous area at any point, which we will, because that's how we get out of here. So, going down along the D... Hee hee! Number of things, first of all, there is a box. Seventeen sticks of dynamite inside. Yum. Thirty-three sticks of dynamite left to collect. Thank you for doing the maths for me. I cannot be bothered. And since we're here, as has been established, boulder operated hole, holder operation. It's too heavy for Tingle, so of course, Lion, would you kindly strength soup and just pop it in there? Thank you, please. So that'll change which way D goes and... 
judging by the map, we'll need to come back around at some point. Oh. That's not what I thought that would do. And assuming we don't flip any other switches... Hmm... I think... I'll leave it as is for now, and it'll come back to bite me in the next episode, I'm sure. So let's see where this takes us first. See where it... What's the point? Why can't you just have a... Oh. I did the right thing after all. Cool. Okay, let's see where this takes us. And while we're getting there, I'll say that I have been, and will continue to be, desolating hexagons. We needed to bring a rock. In the next episode, we'll, uh... We'll... We'll solve this absolute trickery of a puzzle, I'm sure. And to round things out, what's in the box? Is it a piece of toast? Nope, it's money. Works for me. See you in the next episode.